Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, reporting to you from the Overflow Room and talking about one of my absolute favorite recordings ever in the history of humanity. It is this one, Sir Alexander Gibson's recording of four Elgar overtures on Chandos. I've been wanting to talk about this recording for like ages, but I had to wait until I got permission from Chandos to use some sound clips because you've just got to hear it. I mean, once you do that, you're absolutely hooked. It is one of the greatest orchestral recordings ever made sonically. This was the disc that, although I will not discuss audio equipment in depth, I took around to various audio stores to play on high-end systems just to see what they could make of it, because it is one of the most powerful and sumptuous and glittering and magnificent sonic extravaganzas I have ever heard in my life, number one. And number two, the performances just basically clear the field. I mean, they're extraordinarily wonderful, impulsive and impetuous and and exciting and, and just and the orchestra is absolutely in its best form. And it just, everything goes right on this disc. It has four overtures. You get the, uh, the Overture D minor, which is a Handel transcription. And then you get Foissart, um, which is early Elgar and sort of big and Richard Straussy sort of, uh, you know, effulgent. That's the word. It has effulgence. And it's just a full of full stuff. But then you get the two biggies. You get in the South and you get cocaine, which are basically, they're basically tone poems. I mean, they really are. And they are just the most wonderful works. And they're scored for an extravagantly large orchestra with lots of harps and strings and brass. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just have to play you a couple samples and you'll see exactly what I have in mind. Listen to this bit from the Cocaine Overture, Cocaine, Cockney, Cockney, Coke, Coke, whatever it's called, the Coke Overture. It's unbelievable. Here you go. And then, as if that weren't enough, listen to the opening of In the South. Think about, you know, I mean, Toby did a big analysis of In the South, actually both of these overtures. And about In the South, he said that no other work demonstrates the efficiency of Elgar's orchestration. Efficiency is a compliment. Let's not forget. In other words, what he said was, even if you don't have a great orchestra, it, it, it just works. It just carries the orchestra along with it. It sounds marvelous. And I, I happen to know that's true because I played it in my community orchestra. We never sounded better than when we did in the South. Partly it's because the string writing is just beautifully dense and rich, um, no matter how many strings you have doing it. But also it's because so much wonderful material is given to the brass. And if you've got a good brass section, a really good brass section that can just nail 
the descending descending scales and the tunes and oh my goodness you have no idea how glorious it's going to sound in fact i'm going to give you an idea how glorious it's going to sound listen to gibson do this that just amazing? I mean, the, the sweep of the strings and the, the, the thrilling brass timbres all the way up and down, and it's all captured in this glowing acoustic. I mean, this is just one of the best sounding records of anything. Even if you don't like Elgar, if you don't care about Elgar, you want this. First of all, the music's wonderful, so why would you not want it? You, you know, you can't be churlish about, you know, minor things like personal taste. Your personal taste is irrelevant when you have sonics and performance that are this great. It really is. And, and, and you know, but then you, it's just, oh my goodness, I'm just speechless with, mar speechless with marvelousness. It's just incredible. An incredible, incredible disc. Um, it's been sort of in and out of print. Um, I think you can still get physical copy. It's easy to get as a download. Try and get a lossless download if you're going to get a download. Um, or you're streaming. You want to have the best possible fidelity and play it on your own version of the best possible system. But it sounds wonderful no matter how you listen to it. I have it on my iPod. I have it everywhere. I stick it on everything. I put it on my wall. I put it in the bathroom. I listen to it in the shower. It always sounds fabulous. And that, my friends, is all I need to say about it because you've heard it here. So keep on listening, folks. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care. <laughs>